What's going on guys, VIP here, bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on the map, Bootleg, and I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay, I'm just going to say that it's a USAS uh, 12 gameplay, it's like 50 something kills, like, no kill streaks, so, and no specialists, so I thought that was, that was pretty impressive, but what I'm actually going to be talking about is the... Uh, fuck. <laughs> Black Ops multiplayer uh, leaked information. So, oh, I'm not going to be talking about it all because that'd be like like five videos. But, uh, just going to like be talking about the stuff that like caught my eye, you know, interests me, what I thought about it and stuff. And, of course, the link will be in the description. And don't forget to like the video. Oh, and that uh, my first episode of the Black Ops uh, Rhodes Commander is up. So I'll post a link in the description so you guys can go check it out. And so without further ado, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that really caught my eye was that uh, it'll have Mono for 3's point streak system, which I don't, I don't like that. Um, I, I think it should go back to the, like, only kills well I don't think it should be only kills I, I guess capturing doing objectives but shooting air support down is is a no that I don't I don't like that that just like too much stuff gets shot down it assault isn't really even worth it and that's uh and uh, they're gonna be doing a larger emphasis on objectives which means that a bomb plant is worth two points instead of one. A neutral flag is worth one point, and capturing enemy flags is worth two points. And a flag assist captures one, and a capture is worth two. Which I don't really know how that would work out. I mean, I guess. See, what I'm doing here is I'm capturing this flag, which would that give me two? Uh, I'm pretty sure it would, but I'm pretty sure like a teammate hops on it. Like, as soon as you're done capping it, like, he gets it, the points as well. I guess that would be one. And, uh, so another thing that's returning in Black Ops 2 is Specialist. And, uh, it has been modified a little. Two kills, RNG one point, uh, one thing, uh, perk, <laughs> uh, like, always. But you don't get every perk, uh, when you, I guess there's no Specialist bonus. Like, you, that you don't get every perk. And you have to have him pro to become pro. Uh, don't really know how to word this. That um, you have to have the perks pro in order for them to be pro when you have them. I guess that was a specialist bonus thing. Cause I didn't really know that they were pro when you just unlocked them regularly. But yeah. And so, no RCXD car. I I hated that thing so much. That thing really annoyed me. Um, a new heat vision thing. You, it's like a scope that you put on, and I guess you can shoot people through them. I, I through walls and stuff. I don't know. I guess. I guess it's kind of like a thermal scope. And yeah, so that's really all I wanted to talk about in the point streaks. Uh, the prestiges. That there's going to be 15 prestiges returning, 50 ranks, and every two prestiges, there's going to be a 5 rank increase. Which, the final prestige level has 90 levels. Which, I think that's interesting. You know, it keeps, it keeps you going, but I think that's going to turn a lot of people off from prestiging. Um, I know sometimes when I play, I just, I'm tired, I just want to get to the level, like the highest level, and just be done. But yeah, uh, it's not it's not our game. It's theirs. They can do whatever they want to. But whatever. And Elite 2.0 is be is gonna be coming back, which is dumb. I, I I'm sorry, but uh, if you bought it, I'm sorry. I think you wasted your money. But whatever. Uh, I don't see why they just can't bring back a combat record, which is the exact same thing, except it doesn't do the little clan crap. That's like. That it, I don't understand what what they were thinking when they made elites, but whatever. 
And uh, so what else is going to be on there is no Moabs, Mobs, or Nukes. Uh, no Last Stand. No Death Streaks, which there were no Death Streaks in Black Ops, which was another thing that the reason why I think that, that's one of the best Call of Duties. Uh, no Flamethrower Attachment. I totally forgot that was in Black Ops until I started reading this. And, uh, yeah, so. There will be on the snipers now uh, improved sniper rifle usage, which I'm guessing they're making it more sniper friendly. Uh, no aim assist for any snipers, which will cause a lot less quick scoping, which I'm kind of glad for, you know. But sometimes I just like I'm tired of playing the game like a shooter, and I just want to go fuck around, you know, quick scope. But whatever. And there's going to be less sway. Do so you guys remember, if you guys played Black Ops, there was, like, sway. A lot of sway at the beginning of the game, but they, they toned it down. And so, I guess for the appearance, no longer just one perk chooses the player's appearance. Which, like, in Black Ops, if you had Flag Jacket, you look like a bomb squad guy. If you had Ghost, you know, you had the ghillie suit. Y you guys know. And hardcore, I'm not really into hardcore, but uh, if you guys are into hardcore, you might want to pay attention. Larger emphasis on hardcore than ever before. No grenade launchers. Wow. <laughs> you guys are lucky. Only vehicle guided rocket launchers are permitted. As well, you, I, I just have to start playing hardcore. Respawn timing decreased. Uh, I didn't they do that in Call of Duty 4 and World at War? I think they did. For most modes. One bullet in the foot will no longer kill a person. Head or chest shot is usually required. Which, I think that's pretty good. I might actually start playing hardcore. Um, a person will now bleed out if severely injured. Oh shit, never mind. That might get me mad. <laughs> and the perk system 2.0. This kind of caught my eye. Perk system has been upgraded. There are now two options a perk can advance to. Both require different challenges to unlock. Once the desired pro version is unlocked, the player can select that to either pro perk. Perk pro. Sorry. Once selected, the only way to choose the other option is by entering prestige mode. For example, perk slot 1 has the perk called speed. Speed reduces the time taken to aim down sight. Pro 1 swaps weapons faster. Pro 2 throws the equipment faster. So, I'm kind of wondering, can you only choose between either or? Is it just, you know, you get one and, you know, you're left the other one, which I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I mean, I guess it's cool. kind of keeps the game fresh, I guess you could say. Um, but I'll, I'll, what I want to know is if they're going to bring the, back the uh, COD point system. Like, I'm kind of either or about that. Like, I like earning my stuff. I like going out, like, for the, go, like, uh, <laughs> going for the distance and getting, like, my stuff. It's challenging, and it keeps the game new, sort of say. But then again, on sometimes, I just, like, I just want that one attachment for that one gun. So I'm kind of controversial. I don't know if I said that right. You guys know what I mean. Uh about uh, the uh, COD point system. And combat training will be returning. Uh, bots are going to have advanced AI systems. Difficulty will no longer be based on how long the bots take to start shooting. And yeah, that's it. I'm actually kind of glad they're bringing back uh, the combat training. That's the end of the game. This is the end of the commentary. I believe my final score is like 54, and this kill cam needs to hurry up so I can figure out how many deaths I had. It probably wasn't that much. I want to say 54.2, but that's wrong. Oh, 42 and 10. <laughs> well, don't forget to like the video. Come check out my channel and see what other content I have. Peace, guys.